Good morning, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to this reflection. It's Friday during lockdown, and it's my privilege to welcome you to my office. It's a particularly meaningful day for, for the Oblate of Mary Immaculate. I'm an Oblate of Mary Immaculate, and today is the feast of our founder, St. Eugene de Mazenod. My brothers in Cape Town will be celebrating um, at St. Stephen's in Rocklands, but um, I have a prior commitment uh, at exactly the time of their celebration, so I will uh, miss out on that. And so I would like to wish all the Oblates of Mary Immaculate and all our associates a very happy feast day. May the Lord continue to strengthen us all in our vocations. The topic for today, Friday before Pentecost, is on the Gospel passage for the day, John 21, 15-19. Um, this Gospel passage shows Jesus asking Peter about his love. The original language of the New Testament has several words for love. There is a word for the love shared by family members, another word for the exclusive love between husband and wife. There is a word for the brotherly and sisterly love we share in the Christian community, and another word for the total self-giving love on the cross. Of this love, Scripture says that there can be no greater love than to lay down one's life for another. In the passage for today's Mass, Jesus asks Peter if he loves him with a total self-sacrificial love. And Peter responds that he loves Jesus, but only with a brotherly love. This is very clear in the original text. This happens a second time. And then the third time, Jesus asks Peter, Peter, do you only love me with a brotherly love? That is why the text tells us that Peter was sad. His love for Christ has not yet become total. This, however, does not stop Jesus from giving him the commission to care for the flock. This is motivation for those of us with pastoral duties. That Jesus trusted Peter with caring for the flock even in his imperfection, should move us to rise above our own incompleteness and to serve others to the best of our abilities. Looking at our own lives, we might well ask, but who can love with such total dedication? Surely this is impossible. Well, the lives of the saints tell us differently. Maximilian Kolbe was a case in point as were Blessed Benedict Daswa and Blessed Joseph Gerard, OMI, who we will celebrate on the 29th of this month. These people show us that when the Spirit of God is in us, then we will be capable of such love. The declaration of the angel Gabriel in the first chapter of Luke is clear. Nothing is impossible to God. This is the type of love that forgets self. It can happen in each of us, if, even if we do not die in martyrdom. A simple and practical way in which we can love like Christ did is when we forgive. When we forgive, we actually renounce our right to hurt back because we have been hurt. When we fail to forgive, it is a sign that God's Spirit is not driving us. When we fail to forgive, we harbor resentment. This is a useless emotion akin to plunging a dagger into our own hearts and expecting others to bleed. At times, the people who have hurt us were not even aware of it. At other times, we could have been hurt through misunderstandings. There are times when the persons who have hurt us may even be dead or possibly move to other countries, but we allow them to inhabit our tortured memories. Archbishop Hurley, 
add as his motto where there is where the spirit is there is freedom when we have no freedom from old hurts it could be pointing to the fact that we do not enjoy a spirit-filled life if that is the case let us prepare in all seriousness to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for Jesus and for the way in which he loved. He was clear in his message to us that we ought to love one another as he has loved us. Send the Holy Spirit to empower us to love as he did, so that when you look upon us, you will be able to say what you once said about Jesus. These are my beloved sons and daughters, in whom my heart delights. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, your homes and your families, and bring you to the joys of his kingdom. Amen.